everybody, it's Ashley here. Welcome back for another Nostalgic Time. You know, the 80s was definitely a big time period when it came to, well, money games. If you notice, we've been having a trend going on, of course. Remember, it's only money we tried out. And now, of course, we're going to Bargain Hunter. Yes, from Milton Bradley. The game came out in 1981, except this edition here is 1984. And the game is very simple to play. You get $1,000 and you have to furnish your apartment amid the inflation crisis of the time period. You got to do it with fashion, but with economic sense at the same time, including even getting a couple of pets for your household. So it's a good way to, of course, teach kids about money and learning and how to budget. Well, when you got to go out on your own. And the greatest part is, of course, you get the little credit cards, but you can't go over your credit card limit. You have a limit and that's it. You got to pay it first. And you'll either get that lovely credit approved or it'll go to credit not. And the way you do this is you put the credit card in here, just like the old knuckle busters. A lot of you remember working in the retail and restaurant industries. Well, back in some still have it. And you crank this. It's a little hard to get across. Let me turn this so I have a better grip on this. There we go. And of course, it'll turn this, which several times can go either way. Which on the very back side, as you can see, there are different ways. And then, of course, to move around the board, you have this little spinner here. But yes, the little credit cards get your knuckle buster power going and work your way around. You got department stores, furniture stores, the pet shop, of course. And you just got to get it all there. And you got very simple little markers, your cash, your vent cards, and, of course, your bargain hunter cards to help you get the best deal possible. And the greatest part about this game, of course, it doesn't use batteries. But that old saying, of, will your credit be approved? That'll get you playing the game more. And, of course, but... Like I said, just own nothing in your charge account and make it out with your furnished place and you're all set and the game is done. Of course, it plays from two to four players. It's a pretty cool game from Milton Bradley during the time period of, of course, the 80s and the money games. And I will see you guys next time, of course, with more nostalgic fun. We got a lot more coming your way, including Ghost Castle, Tornado Bowl, Skip It, Tie and Tangle, and many more. And I will catch you guys later.